What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music again. Now, there are dozens and dozens of awesome music movies out there. Biopics, documentaries, and incredible concert films, all of which keep the intense guitarists like yourself entertained. Here are five documentaries beloved by rock and guitar fans everywhere. Number five, Some Kind of Monster. If you like metal, you've probably seen Some Kind of Monster, a behind the scenes look at the fraternal dysfunction that was early 2000s Metallica. And if you don't like metal, you really should watch it anyway. Metallica fan or not, this is one of the most fascinating, compelling documentaries of any genre I've ever seen. Between power struggles, studio footage, therapy sessions, a performance enhancing coach, and too many expletives to count, this rock doc peeks behind the curtain as to what happens in a band when the amplifiers are off. In fact, if you aren't a Metallica fan, this just might end up being one of your favorite music movies ever. Number four, Anvil, the story of Anvil. Now, Metallica are heavy metal superstars. Anvil were definitely not. In the early 80s, this Canadian group had a small taste of fame, performing with acts like Bon Jovi and Scorpions. But, you knew there was a but, they ended up with day jobs instead. This film, directed by their former roadie, follows the band around their present day lives and gives a lot of insight into why some bands make it and some bands don't. Number three, Les Paul Chasing Sound. This documentary about electric guitar grandfather, Les Paul, was a part of the American Master series on PBS. And it's pretty easy to find online if you do some digging. The first aired back in 2007, so Les Paul actually appears in the documentary and tells his own story in his own words with a little help from some other electric guitar legends such as B.B. King, Jeff Beck, Steve Miller, and Keith Richards. Number two, It Might Get Loud. This 2009 guitar documentary starring Jack White, The Edge, and Jimmy Page is one of the best. The three megastars discuss their backgrounds and musical evolutions specifically in regards to their guitar playing and style. Each virtuosic talent takes us to a specific location of inspiration. Jack White to a Tennessee farmhouse, Page to Healy Grange, where Stairway to Heaven was written, and The Edge to a Dublin recording studio. The audience gets a rare look at the creative process employed by each guitarist, and that makes this doc definitely worth a watch. Number one, The Last Waltz. Recorded on Thanksgiving Day, 1976, the Last Waltz is the concert film to end concert films. Advertised as the band's farewell concert appearance, this film is revered by rock fans all over the world. With an all-star supporting cast and direction from Martin Scorsese, that's right, that Martin Scorsese, The Last Waltz is rightly considered one of the best concert films ever made. What are your favorite movies about rock and roll? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't, I appreciate you subscribing right here to Marty Music. Thanks again. We'll see you real soon.